Hi, we are at Auburn Pharmacy Camp and we are the Village's Auburn. And we're going to give you an OOTD. Your booties are from Auburn Pharmacy. Your mask, also Auburn Pharmacy. Beautiful hairnet, Auburn Pharmacy. Gown, Auburn Pharmacy. So today we're doing an aging sensitivity activity where the students are putting on gloves to kind of simulate um, neuropathy or arthritis in their hands. So they're putting on the gloves and they're putting their medication in their weekly pill box. As you can see, and kind of seeing the struggle that elderly patients or people with this neuropathy can have when putting them in and just kind of teaching them how to be empathetic and how to help these patients. At this station, we're having our campers look through these yellow glasses and this just simulates the yelling of the eyes that occurs naturally to every patient. And so they get to see different colored sprinkles to separate out medications by color or flashcards with common medications that are confused with this condition and get to see what older patients may experience while they're trying to take their medications. This is the county station and so this is just um, a station where campers can practice the billing component of working in a community pharmacy. So billing is something that pharmacy technicians, pharmacy interns, and even pharmacists will do um, with their work. Today we're having the campers do a virtual reality simulation of color blindness. And the purpose of this is to promote empathy for patients. Our students do it in their first semester, first year of pharmacy school. So what you see behind me is they are doing a pill sort. The first round is a pill sort where they take pills and sort them by color into boxes labeled with the color. The second round is the same activity, but then there's a color blindness filter included so that all the pills look different and now it's a little bit different, uh, a little bit difficult to sort by color. And so the idea is that they have a little glimpse into the problems that patients may have uh, when they have color blindness.